Hi there! Welcome to the Complete Python course. My name is Jose and I'll be your instructor. I'm a software engineer at one of Scotland's leading software companies. And after teaching tens of thousands of students in Udemy, I've also founded the company Teclado to bring software development learning to everyone. This course will take you from beginner to expert in Python easily and smartly. We've crafted all the content to be concise and straightforward while never leaving you confused. So why learn Python at all? Over the last few years, Python has become more and more popular, booming in the job market. Python is extremely popular for many things like data science, web development, home automation, and much more. Python is one of the most loved programming languages and also the most wanted language, according to recent industry surveys. If people are not using Python already, they want to start using Python. This course will make it easy for you to learn Python and get ahead of the masses. So who is this course for? For beginners who've never programmed before but want to start learning Python. Or for programmers coming in from other languages who want to kickstart their Python programming. Finally, it's also really good for Python programmers who want to brush up on their skills and really get proficient using Python. I'll give you a quick overview of the course. We'll dive right into Python. The tools presented in this course means you don't have to worry about installing anything in your computer until you are comfortable with Python. That means we can be productive right from the start. You'll have lifetime access to over 100 lectures covering all aspects of Python, from the foundations to advanced concepts in a clear and concise manner. And each lecture includes a screencast video and also complete written notes and code for you to read and refer back to as you progress through the course. Videos are interactive, with pauses for you to think and write code. And also there's quizzes and tests all along the way for you to check your understanding. We also have a number of milestone projects for you to complete as you go through the course. These provide a challenge and an opportunity for you to apply what you've learned. We always go over the code after to show you how we would tackle them. This course teaches not just Python, but also common pitfalls and best practices, including how to make your code Pythonic, that's looking like professional code, object-oriented programming, database interactions, and much more. By the way, something that differentiates us from other courses is the amount of help and support that we provide each student. In the last year alone, we've answered over 3,000 student questions. The first project we'll build is a movie collection system to manage your movies. We'll learn about Python basics, how to interact with users and send them data and get data back. We'll also learn about if statements to control the flow of our programs and also about functions and loops. Functions will allow us to structure our programs nicer and loops will allow us to repeat things over and over again. Then we'll move on to project number two, which is gonna be a library manager. Here we'll learn about object-oriented programming which is a cornerstone of modern software development. We're going to learn about errors and how to handle them in Python, and also how Python does flow control using errors, as well as if statements, as we learned earlier on. We'll learn about files and how to store things, and we'll also learn about relative imports and import errors. Then we'll do an extension to this project where we'll include database interactions, context managers, and type hinting, which is a new feature in Python 3.6. After this project, we'll move on to web scraping. Web scraping is just extracting data from websites so that we can use it in our own programs. And we're gonna learn a bunch of these skills in order to do that. We're gonna look at built-in functions, generators, regular expressions, working with date and time, advanced data manipulation, as well as some external libraries that we'll need in order to perform web scraping. Throughout the entire course, as well as building these projects, we'll also be learning a lot of advanced Python knowledge. One of the topics unique to this course is that we'll be covering how to do asynchronous Python development, which is usually a very confusing topic that we will cover in depth. We'll learn about how to use Python in the wild, how to manage your projects with Python, how to do web development using a very popular library called Flask, and we'll also learn about algorithms and data structures and how to implement those with Python. This is very useful for interviews, for example. 
There's also a bunch of popular Python libraries that you can use to do a whole host of other things. And we're going to look at some of those so that you know more about what you can do with Python. This is the most complete Python course available today. We're going to do concise explanations with a little bit of theory. Then we're going to give you a whole bunch of examples. And finally, you're going to apply your knowledge by building a project. And we're going to do this over and over again. So you're always getting practical, up-to-date knowledge. In this lecture, we're going to be setting up our cloud coding environment so that you don't have to install a bunch of stuff just as you're getting started. REPL8 is the editor we're going to be using and it's really powerful and really flexible. To get started, come to REPL.it and create an account. Once you have logged in to REPL8, you'll see something more or less like this. At the top right, you'll have a button to create a new REPL as well as your REPLs, which should be empty for now, languages, and your profile. We're going to click on New REPL. Here, we're going to select Python. Notice that there's a bunch of different Pythons, including an older version of Python, as well as other frameworks and things like that. We're interested in just normal Python. This is going to create a new editor for you that uses Python 3, and it's going to be what we'll use throughout the entire course. You can give it a name and you can give it a description so you remember what it's about later on when you see it in your profile. When you create your REPL, you'll see something like this. You've got your files on the left, you've got your code here in the middle, and then you've got the output of your code on the right. For now, we're not going to be using files, so you can click this little icon to close it down. By clicking at the top, you can edit the name and the description if you didn't do so before. And whenever we type some code, you can then press the green button to run it. And then you'll see any output of the code on the right. One of the great things about REPL8 is that you can share your editor with someone else. So if you ever have any problems as you go through the course, you can create a new topic in the course Q&A. Give us a description of the problem and what you're trying to achieve and then also paste in this link that you get here. Then we will be able to see your code as you see it. When you do that though, remember to not change your code after you've shared it with us, otherwise your Q&A and the code that we see will no longer be in sync. Every time you start a new lecture of this course, I recommend you create a new REPL for it. That's it for this video. Now that you're all set up, let's get started learning Python. I'll see you in the next one.